Good evening, friends, and thank you for coming to the Sackcloth and Ashes News Report. We are not part of the mainstream establishment. We are Holy Spirit-filled Christians trying to bring the world news to you with a perspective of the Word of God. And in today's broadcast, I want to take a look at this Chinese airplane that took a bizarre and catastrophic nosedive on Monday with 132 people on board, 132 souls. Emergency workers have found no survivors as of Tuesday morning's latest reports from China. And I want to dedicate this newscast to the families who are struggling to find answers to this tragedy and to let them know that there are people who love and care about them. And as the body of Jesus Christ, our prayers are covering them today. Let's take a look at some of the facts from this air crash or rather the information that has been released from the Chinese news outlets. And in this one article from the New York Times this morning, hundreds of firefighters, police officers, and paramilitary troops have been scouring the hillsides looking for survivors using flashlights. Flight MU-5735 had plunged from 29,000 feet in the air to earth on Monday in 10 County, scattering debris across a remote countryside. Recovered from the crash site were personal belongings such as identity cards, purses, cell phones, news reports said, and there was an effort to locate the plane's black boxes which have flight data and voice recorders. But according to aviation expert Mike Daniels, a former FAA accident investigator and now who works as an industry consultant, he stated that with that kind of crash, that amount of speed and downward velocity, the recorders are going to be damaged. Even if they find the recorders, are they actually going to be able to read them, he said. And that's going to be a huge challenge for the Chinese investigators. Many people on Chinese social media sites have noted that China had gone more than 4,226 days without a major aviation accident. And that is an enviable record after a string of disasters in the 1990s and in the 2000s. And it seems as though the Chinese people are very proud of that track record too. And that's, that's over 11, 11 years without any major accidents. There is a rush of speculation online about the cause of the accident, especially with the unusual uh, trajectory of the plane. It was flying steadily, then turning sharply downward, and it opened up a range of possible explanations, including foul play or catastrophic equipment failure. So that's the part of the article from the New York Times that I wanted to take a look at. Look at the flight pattern in this video, friends. It is very, very peculiar. And the only time I've ever seen something so odd was in a science fiction movie where a spaceship was trying to take out an intruder in their airspace. So first thing I thought of was a UFO. And that does not make me a conspiracy theorist person. It makes me a realist. So check out this excerpt from Tuckle, Tucker Carlson from Fox News. Uh, it is a long history of encounters with UFOs all the way back to the 1940s. And this man describes these encounters with detail. There has been a long history of UFO incidents and encounters with much investigation of them from 1947 and even earlier. In September of 1966, I was the Minuteman ICBM Launch Control Officer and Deputy Commander of a launch crew stationed at Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota. I was involved in a UFO incident at that time where a flying object tampered with and took down a total of 10 nuclear-tipped ICBM missiles by rendering them unlaunchable. Apparently, extraterrestrials, which are the minions of Satan himself, are interfering with nuclear defense systems of different governments. And so, just like we saw in this clip, there is some validity in what I'm bringing forth to you today, friends. The fallen angels are very much working in the skies, 
And as the Apostle Paul said in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, are we? But principalities and powers of darkness in high places. And could it be that interdimensional beings are bumping into our airplanes as they are going in and out of other dimensions? Soft disclosure on extraterrestrials is coming forth from the U.S. government and other governments as well. Not in the way that we had hoped for, uh, but the info is being leaked out very slowly. So if you look for it online, you will see some of it. And is it also possible that they are threatening certain governments to obey their mandates or that they will cause accidents to occur? And the Bible shows us of the beast kingdom rising at the end of the church age. And President Joe Biden just spoke of this new world order again in the news this past week. And so have many other presidents. So again, friends, there's nothing new under the sun. Make sure your allegiance is with Jesus Christ, not the upcoming Antichrist. And let's keep everyone around the globe in our prayers. Good night.